Okay, so, so now can you power on the switch in New Jersey router? Uh, yeah, just on. Like, yep. Just just right click, and then right click on the the switch also. Console. Yep. Hit enter, and just uh, bring bring the switch also. The switch power on the switch. Which one? Uh, the the one the New Jersey. This one? No, no, no up up the, the 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 New Jersey. See, they have a two router, right? New Jersey and the the, the backbone switch. You you know what I mean? Oh, like, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because you have to turn on the switch though. <laughs> Why does this look so messy? I don't understand. I think maybe we, when they enable, maybe we have to reset it, but don't reset it right now. Just leave it like this, should be good enough. Maybe you have to rearrange and then and then uh, save it again after you rearrange. Hmm. All right, just go, just go to cancel it, right click. Okay, just just show VLAN switch in here quick. Uh, hyphen, I think hyphen switch. Yep, hit enter. So beautiful. So we have we have everything in here. Okay, then then go back to the router. Which one do you want? Yeah, the the router one. I just want to make sure we have auto connectivity first, right? Okay. Now this is router two. That's fine. Yeah, let me let let me, let me do quick here. Let me let me grab let me grab your keyboard mouse. Okay, so this is the router two. The headquarters, so we have all the sub interface. Okay, that's that's good. And then we go to router one. That is the. I think this is the router one. And then show IP interface. Here. Yep. And then we show standby. This is from last last day, so we just have to make sure. Oh, come on. Okay, so just for example, this v this VLAN 30, that is the virtual IP address. And then the standby router is this one. And then everything, the status active. Okay, so we... Oh, it should be should be on in here right now. Uh, so then we open this one here. Let's power on the, okay, so the three office router here. So, let me see if it takes the CPU up or not. Uh, can you help me to click this performance here? Great. Yeah. 
Okay, so it's taking. Okay, it's go, going down. All right, so should. Okay. And then just just click just just click here one more. Where? The the MPS router here. Just power on. Uh, which one? This one? Yep. Okay, can you go back to the computer management? Uh, okay, the, so the CPU is still around 80, 75. Okay, so that should be okay. All right, so we can we can close this window test manager. Okay, all right. So from last time, we already have all the remote office three sites should be up, right? So today we're going to try just the basic. So we want to configure the the routing, right? That dynamic routing. So we're going to use the BGP routing in here. So we can then we can forward and backward. So we can uh, try using the BGP first to advertise the network. So we want to able to then we can make a testing. We can able to ping from the New Jersey to Minnesota and also to LA or maybe from LA uh, to the US, Minnesota and the New Jersey. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So now, uh, since <clears throat> I'm not seeing this is just the basic for you. So I'm not demonstrating how to configure on the MPLS labeling on the M on the on the Verizon side, okay. So that might be final in the final lab. So we can come back only focus how I I can demo for you how to create the MPLS labeling between the backbone router for Verizon. Okay. Hmm. Right now we just just using the for for, for tonight we just use the basic just just BGP routing is not fancy. Okay. All right, so I I want you to be a dry on the command line, so give you more practice in here. So so go ahead, bring up the uh, console for the MPLS router. Oh, we didn't open it yet. Okay. All right, so just just quick in here, uh, show IP interface brief. I think we don't have a IP address yet, right? Yeah. Okay, so we don't have yet. Okay, so Do we want to do we want to follow the our IP schema? Or we just we can just use like uh, uh let's you, let, 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 let's quick open that your spreadsheet again now the IP schema. Oh yeah. Your brick is open? Not yet. Okay, go to the master, master page. Okay, so what is the, what we put in here for MPRS Verizon? Can you make it bigger a little bit?
Okay, so okay, so we use one sixty nine. Okay, is that right? So we pretend we pretend. Oh, this no, that is the internet. So we have a uh, Comcast is uh, one ninety two. Okay, so if we want to use some some sometime like uh, Verizon, they are using like one forty two or one. 152 something like that right i'll see it and no no in, in the in the in the real life you know oh okay like, like in our network uh maybe in the 41 there 40 put in the 41 there so let's let's pick up say because this is 41 let, let, let's pick up we use 141 okay just pretend. Uh, Can you okay. type one one forty? Nice. Just one one forty one dot one forty one. Dot one forty one. Dot one forty one dot zero slash twenty four. Okay, so we use the uh, we use this one as for just put the description in here. It's just a Verizon uh, MPLS. And then we can save it. And then we go back to we go back to topology. Okay. So so let's let's do quick here. Uh let me see if we want to let, let me try how, how I want to be a quick here for you. Uh let, 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 let me grab the mouse again, keyboard. Then you can. Uh, so. Can you give me remote access? Oh, sorry. Yep. All right. So so we we do like this. Okay. So see we have a, we have a zero one. Let's let's put it in here. We put it up here first, and then we put this one up here first, and then we put here first, and then we put this one here, and then we put here. Okay, we put here. Now we can do quick like this, so we can use the. Uh, the port interface, this is 23, 21, 10 here. That's a zero, right? That's two zero, right? Okay. Uh, so we can make it like this is the whole network in here. Just just say we, because we normally remember for Verizon, they give us like slash 30, like slash 30, only like your two hosts, you know, end to end. So from our network in here, we just want to be quick. In, like uh, do, we don't want to be recalculate for slash thirty for each subnet for each site. So we're going to use one forty one dot one forty one and dot zero slash twenty four. So that is for Verizon here, the whole Verizon network here. Mm -hmm. And then and then in here. Okay, so we, we, we're going to be, for example, this interface here. So we're going to use like, uh, see this is zero, zero. And then uh, this is, we can make this one as a 21. This is 10, this is 23, 22. Uh, hmm, let me see, huh? Do we want to, how we want to calculate? Uh, maybe maybe we just buy the third R tag. It's easy. Okay, so this is the. So this is should be. Let's say this is one. One forty one one zero. Then we we duplicate here. So this is going to be this line here. It's going to be. Uh, one forty one. 
No, because she, she, she... Uh, because we use the third attack, right? Third attack zero. Maybe, maybe we just use zero here. We just want to make easy in our lab in here. Just, just like that. So this is less. Then we use this one. This is like a zero one. And then we make this one is a ten. And then we make this one is ten. The third attack. And then we we make this is twenty one. And this is we make a twenty three. So this is we make a twenty two. And this is we make a twenty. Follow. Yep. And then and then everything in here we make it one in here, and then in here we make it we make it like a, a two. Everything everything in the from the from the Verizon side everything we make at the number one. So this is number two, the host. Just for example, I, I do quick I do quick for you quick here. So for for example, I'm I'm the ten is from Verizon. Okay, so let, let me click in here. So I have an F0 slash 0. I have an IP address. I have a 141, 141, dot 0, dot 1. 255.255.255.0. Dispatch full, and then we shut down. Show one the plate F zero slash zero. So we bring the notepad in here. So we do cheat. Click here, so we copy this one out. Go back to the maybe bring this one down. No, oh. didn't copy that. Why? Why the keeper is is a, I have a delay, you know, to remove. Is that is that your internet issue <laughs> or my internet issue? Mm. Might be because my PC is see, slow. I, see, I got, I got, I got. Um, you see, let, let, let's do like this. Let's kill this one first. Then let's kill this one. Stop. So we don't need the PCs. So let's stop the PC. So try to resolve that you're not not eating the CPU. Okay. Yeah. So let's go back again. Yeah, see, it's really slow. Great. One hundred. No, oh, it's very slow. I tried to then let's go back to maybe maybe go to the router. Faster than me. So I put in a notepad. Right, let me go to config P. 
So I'm going to F0 slash one. Then I'm going to keep IP address 141, 141. This is zero, zero 01. So just, just put one. And then uh, put one. Okay, then speed 100. You grab full, no shutdown. Okay. And then F1 slash zero. So I think we just make three interface in here. F1 slash zero IP address, 141, 141. So this is one zero is mean equal 10, that one. Triple five, triple five, triple five dot zero. Yeah, it's very slow for me. Okay, so Okay, so we have a three in the patient here. So let's write it first. How much memory you have on your PC here? Uh, let's say eight gigs. Eight gigs is fine. Yeah, 16, no, 63, it should be fine. I think it's your internet. Hmm. Yeah, I think you have a Comcast or Verizon? Comcast. I could move over to a wired connection. See if that makes any difference. Let me see if that. But this in the wireless or wire? I'm going over Wi-Fi, but I can change it to uh, a wired connection. No, but, but but let, 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 let me before you change it right okay so, so i want let, let me see if if you type quicker than than me or not can, okay. can you can you go to the new jersey router one yeah all right okay so i pee in a brief yeah okay see it's fast to you right Seems fine to me. Yeah, so when I use my remote, re, remove your keyboard, so that is your internet. You know? Okay, now minimize the knockback here first. Yeah, I would say it responds pretty fast to me. Right. Because, okay, so, okay, I, I let you dry, doesn't matter. All right, go to config in here quick. Go to interface F0 slash zero. Chase F0 slash zero. Okay, put IP address. 141, 141, zero, dot two. And then 255. 255.255.0. And then just put the speed speed 100 and put a duplex is full. No and shot. Sure. Yep. Exit out here. Make sure you can ping the, the, the Verizon one, the remote. Which it's one? A, it's a ping 141.140.1. Oh. Uh, you have to exit. Yeah, we just want to make sure this circuit is got turned up. Yep, so that's fine. The MPLS is up. And then minimize this one here. Then go to the, then we can knock down the Minnesota. 
the interface facing the NPRS. So this, uh, this one. Yep. Set up. No, no it's not. Okay, we put the config T again. F00. Zero, zero. Yep. It's facing to the MPLS. And then we put IP address 141.141.1.2. We want one here? Yeah, makes sense because we because we use this F01, so I'm using the third attack to submit it's a one network. Okay. Dark two. And two for five, two for five, dark. Yep, and then same for the speed one hundred two plus four. And no shutdown. And then do a quick ping. 141.141.1.1. No, you have to put the do command or exit out. Oh. Okay, so this circuit is got turned up also. Now go now go back to the US go to the LA router. Yeah, you can queue that one. The one the one that? yeah, the one one yeah, queue that one. So config T F zero and IP address. Yep, um, and one forty one, one forty one dot ten dot two. Oops. So oh. <laughs> you're cheap. <laughs> 10 megabit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no shutdown. And then exit out, exit out again. And try to ping the Verizon remote IP. It should be 141.141.1.10.1. .1. It's up, right? You see? Yeah. Okay. So now let's go back to the MPLS router. Okay. So we have a order from Verizon. So we want to turn up, we already turned up the circuit. Now we have another order. So we want to bring the BGP up, right? From Verizon. Mm -hmm. So now we go back to config T. Okay, now we want to create a BGP routing in here. So what you have to do in here, just put a router, BGP, and then we're gonna use the private AS number. It's a 6500, 65000. That is the Verizon. Ah. Agree? Okay. Uh, one more zero. Oh. Yeah, 65000. Okay, hit enter. Okay, so that now you're in the BGP, inside the BGP uh, process here, okay? Mm -hmm. So because the Verizon in here, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So Verizon in here, we don't worry about advertise any network, okay? Because Verizon is just helping us to propagate between these three networks because he's, he's not handling uh, advertise unless, unless advertise the own, interface facing the, the each remote office, right? So in here, we skip it first. We, we not do any uh, network advertisement from the, 
So we just want to create the neighbor section, the BGP peer neighbor section in here. So go ahead, type neighbor. Uh, and then the, say we want to go to uh, New Jersey first, and then we have to be put 141.141.0.2. And then sp space. And then we put the remote hyphen AS. Remote. Yep, you can put a question mark, yeah, like that. So remote AS. Yes. So, so okay. So this one, uh, what, what should we come up here? Since since we using the third R tag, right? That is a zero, and we might be want to use because we use zero also in here. So I would say, uh, let me see. I tr I try to try to make a logical in here. So let's let's put six for for this one. It's just like because we use zero. It's not that good. The the R tag. Let's let's say we put this one sixty five zero 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 dot two. Okay. So so, so we put sixty five zero zero two. So we're using the host number the end. I okay. Okay. So hit enter. And then uh, put the put the up arrow key, and then uh, backspace and and uh, remove the remove the remote AS stop there, and then I want you put the description. Okay, so because we then you you say this is the description. Say you can say this is the BGP. Uh, BGP, like maybe put hyphen, one word, hyphen, two, yeah, say hyphen again, so because we're, what company we're using for this one for demo, ABC, yeah, so, so we put ABC, and then we put a, uh, uh, if you want to be perfect, put the desk again, and then USNJ, just say USNJ, so New Jersey. Okay. US -NJ. Yeah, this is just from the Verizon side, say I'm, I'm gonna establish this PIP, BGP PIP to the, uh, to, to the customer, ABC customer, but the location is pointing to a USNJ router. Make sense? Mm -hmm. All right, just hit enter. Okay, so now we have we create another one, neighbor. So we're going to go to Minnesota. So neighbor 141.141. That should be one duck two. And then space. And then put the remote AS. Now this one, since we're using the one, so we put six five zero 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 one. Yeah, like that? yeah, makes sense because the one is equal to the third R tag. Okay. Oh, I gotcha. All right, so hit hit enter, and then after you hit enter, and then you put the up arrow key, and then put the description again. And then you just modify BGP to ABC to US Minnesota. Okay. And then now you do the last one to the LA 141.141. That should be 102. And then put the remote AS should be sixty five zero one zero. Okay, hit enter. See you. You follow the 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 AS number is follow the the network the three R tag. Okay, the third R tag. Yeah. 
So he but, but we couldn't do it for the first one because zero is yeah. already taken. Correct. Okay. So hit enter. So now we put the description again in here. It's a BGP two ABC two US CA California. So I just hit enter. That should be good enough. Now exit out in here. Exit out again. Now you show run section with the pine. No, no show run. Just just show run. Mm -hmm. Space. And then put the filter, the pine sign. Okay. Mm -hmm. Put the put the pipeline sign there, the filter, the pipe. Oh, the pipe? Yeah. Like that? Yeah, and then section, S, just put SEC section, and you put router BGP. It gives you the configuration, it's only for router BGP. Hit enter. Huh. You see? Okay. So this is the this is the on the on the Verizon side. So just for basic router BGP sixty five hundred, and then we have the neighbor, and then we have a neighbor description, right? But we don't have a neighbor advertisement in here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So show IP BGP summary, and you can you should be C should be active. It's a waiting for the neighbor. Oh. Yeah, you see, okay. All right, so, and just put the right, so we save this configuration first. Yeah, now we go back to a New Jersey router now. You can move this window on the put in the left side on the bottom a little bit. Put in the left, yep. Okay, so now you put a complete T. And then you put the router BGP. And then you look at the from the right hand right window. Uh, this is this is connected to US and J, so the AS number it should be sixty five zero zero two. Okay. So. Hit enter. Okay. So now you can copy there the neighbor, the neighbor one forty one one three one zero two. The car. If you want so, to, if you want to type or you want to copy. Uh, neighbor. Yeah, neighbor. 141, 141, 0. Yes. Yep. That should be 0, 1. 0, no. 1. Oh. Because this is, uh, yeah, we, we are 2. So the horizon is 0, 1, right? Yeah. And then put the space and then put the remote AS 65,000. Okay. Hit enter. Now, if you want to put description, and then this is the uh, BGP to NPLS, that's it. Simple enough. Should I say Verizon? Yep. Verizon NPLS or something like that. Yep. All right. Okay, hit enter. Okay, then exit out first from here. And then show IP BGP summary. Okay, so see, 
the session is up right for 24 seconds agree but but we don't have a prefix yet because we did we didn't advertise yet so we leave it we, we leave it here first now let, let's go to the minnesota And then same thing with the config key. Then we go to the router, BGP. So the Minnesota, when you see from the right hand side, it should be 65001. And just hit enter. And then you put the neighbor. So be 141, 141.1.1. Okay, and then you put the remote AS, so be 65,000. Mm -hmm. You follow, right? Yeah. Okay, and then put the description again. This is the BGP2 Verizon MPLS. Okay, and then exit out again, exit out, and then just, just, just quick verify here. Show IP BGP summary. Okay, perfect. You see, it's up again, right? Yeah. Okay, so now we go to we knock down the California. Oh, when you move like that, my screen is too slow for me. <laughs> I'm right. not sure. I'm not sure it's the internet. Okay. So this one should be what? Duck 10. Yep. Then we put the neighbor 141, 141, duck 10, duck. One sixty five thousand. Hmm. What happened? Oh, I hate when it does that. Um, shit. It's correct, right? I never hit enter. So, show so IPBGP summary quick. Yeah, it's, it's correct. It says the session is up, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Um, so now now in here, how do I look? How do I make sure this description is right? So just show run. Yeah, just show show run. If you want to filter just using the section router BGP. And then I call this. This? Yeah, just router, B, just router BGP. No, you have to put a filter. 
Remember the put the oh, section. Yep. Otherwise, you just show run, the, and then you just scroll down. But this right. is just a okay um, section, and then just then what? Just router. Either router or BGP. Yep. You see. Oh, you, you you didn't get the you didn't get the description. Yeah, so I didn't think I did that because something. Yeah, just then just go back to config T. Go to router. And then I'm gonna so confuse. Um, what confuse? Okay. Okay. All right. So, and put the neighbor again with the IP address. And then put the description. BGP. Just, just, just put the BGP two and. Verizon and PNS. Yep. Exit out. Exit out. Okay. So now, now in here, so you can do quick in here. Show IP BGP summary again. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now, okay, so now we see, now we, now we in the L, uh, LA router in here. So now we want to advertise this LA uh, to the MPLS and publicate to another remote office, right? Yeah. So now, now you can do quick in here, show IP interface brief. Okay, now just do quick in here because we, we need to exactly, we need to know the mass, you know, the, 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 the subnet mass. So you can do quick in here, show run that interface 1.10 F01 slash .10. And what? Yeah, the sub interface, doc 10. You, you just want to know the, see the sub mass. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, and also, and also go to 20, 30, 40, and 50. So you, you need, you need to know what is the sub mass. Because when you ever because when you're using the BGP, when using the network, when using the network command, you have to be matched to some mass. Okay. Okay. So you're talking about the the one dot one zero two zero three zero four zero five zero, right? Yeah. So you can then once you have in here, then you just just copy and paste. Just just for example, in here, uh, here. Then you can reach my mind. So go to config T in here quick. Go to config T. Router BGP 65010. Hit enter. Now you put the network because you want to ever tie this sub interface, this network, right? To the to the remote. And then you put the Oh, uh, which one? No, no, no. The the one dot ten the sub interface. Okay. Yeah. Let, let, let me do quick here. Let me show you here what I want to do. Okay. Let, let me grab. Yeah. Okay. You have this network, right? This is this is the Verizon network, right? Mm -hmm. So 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 you want to advertise this network? So you can put in here. Oh, can you give me the can you give me the 
data. Okay. So for, for example here, so this is this is the network, Verizon network, right? So you have to put like this, right? And then you, then you have to be follow the mass. The mass here you have to be exactly two five five two five five two five five dot zero. So this is now this is the command that we advertise for this facing one network first is facing the MPLS, right? So watch in here, see, this is zero now in here. If you refresh, you should be have one prefix is coming in. You see? And then when you show IP uh, BGP, what are we looking at at that last command? See, which one? Which command? The one you did before this one. Oh. The, the one in here, oh, show IP BGP, that's it. This is the BGP table. Summary. Sum, summary, you just look at the, the pair. Okay, right. it's, it's the pair, you see? It's one, it's, because this, because see in here earlier, this one here. Oh, that's a, what you're looking at, okay. This is, this is zero, right? Yeah. Because 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 this one here you already you already advertise one network, so so and then from uh let's let's here let's bring my here first. We want to look at it down here, so we want to see the back the, the background. There's some delay. Okay, so it's here, for example, here. So if you refresh here, uh, show, no. If you say show refresh again, IP BGP summary, you see? Now you should be received one network from LA. And then when you show IP BGP, the table, now you have one network is coming in, you see? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now if we if we go back to here again, so let's let's so if we go back to here again, so now we need to advertise this 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 network this network also, right? So we have to advertise the VLAN 10, 20, 30, 50 here, right? So so that's why what I see what I want to what I want to, to tell you is you show, so for example, show run interface F0 slash 0, 1 point, right? So we need to find out uh, it's not right. Okay, it, it's it's one. I think it's no. Wait, what is it? Oh yeah, yes. it's one. It's oh. one. Yeah. Yeah, like this. You see, because we need to, we need to know the subnet mass here, right? So in here, so now we have to say network, right? And then we have to be this this network is a 10.98.65.0. And then we put the mesh. And then we put this one here. You see? Mm -hmm. Now now when you come when you come back to here again, you will see the you see? Okay? Yeah. You see? So this is how the BGP using the BGP routing in here. So let, so since since we have a delay this internet, so we not we not so we we just only advertise just two, just just two two network, okay? Okay. So when you when you exit out in here, so when you show run section router BGP. Uh, did I type wrong again? 
yeah i type wrong okay it's, it's very delayed so just show router just a bgp you see we have a two network right mm -hmm. okay all right now you grab the mouse again now that, let, let, now you do the minnesota okay all right first thing in here you show ip interface brief first okay you want to show run interface that shut interface that one dot ten hit enter and then show run again in the phase one duck 20 okay now you go to router bgp go to config t router bgp now I, now because bgp as number is only unique okay just only because the router is only allow you one as number if you no don't go back to go back go back to the router here i show you if you if you if you forgot the as number on on this router right you, you put any number in here you put one two three four five hit enter one two three four five hit enter you see it gives you the bgp is already running so because because that is the reason for bgp the good the good thing is is only allow you only configure one AS number, okay? Mm -hmm. So then go ahead. So this router, the AS number for BGP is sixty five zero zero one. So now you now you put router BGP sixty five zero zero one. But sometimes you have to be the best way you do. I you do show run first because because you sometimes if you're not like uh, confirm if you're not sure about if we override or not because if you override by the new as number it could be maxed up in that in that case it's better you save it you to be safe you should run uh find out what is the as number okay okay but in here since we are left in here so we can do some cheating you know mm -hmm. okay so now we put the network so we want to advertise the VLAN 10 network and also the VLAN 20 network. Okay, so we want to do zero here. Yep. And then we want to do the whole subnet. Right. But you have to put no, you have to put mass first. Follow with the mass. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Hit enter. And then you put the network again. And then do the next one. Yep. Is that, that's not right, right? Is it? Mm -hmm. No, that would be 128, right? Is that correct? Which one? Is this right? Yep, 128. Is that that is the subnet network? Okay. And. Yep. Now in here, just just do quick here. Show IP BGP. Okay. So see, uh, do you know what that means? Zero, the next half zero zero dot zero zero dot zero zero. Mm -mm. Because that is a layer. Because that is that is the network that we inject into the BGP. So that we're using the network command. Okay. So that is that is mean because because this is my network. So that's why I the next half of course is a zero zero zero. And and the first one is the ten ninety eight sixty five dot zero slash twenty five. The next up you're learning from one forty one because that is from the other 
BGP router because you receive this network, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now, 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 do you understand about why, why the next hub zero 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 that is that because that is your network? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Mm hmm. Yeah, because you see. And, and also you have 141, 141, 141, the bottom one, see 141, 141 slash uh, 10 dot slash 24. And then you, the next hub is a 141, that is because the next hub is from the MPLS. So that's why this, this network, you're learning from your neighbor MPLS, okay? Okay. And also you see the path there, uh, see from the BGP section, you can tell that is the originate, the 65010 is the originate for this network. See, because because right now you 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 are you are in the Minnesota router right Minnesota router because Minnesota router the AS number is the sixty five zero zero one. Okay, this is that is just a IP BGP table. This is just a table. is is showing what network local or what network you receive from your neighbor. Your neighbor is the MPLS. So that is mean MPLS is propagate through the BGP to the MS router, okay? Yeah. Got it? Now in here, uh, we forgot to advertise, we forgot to advertise that, uh, see if you want to see what advertise from this network, show IP BGP neighbor, go ahead. Show IP BGP neighbor. No, don't hit enter. You still need to follow up with advertise route. Yeah, this otherwise it will give you a lot of detail in here. Okay, show IP BGP neighbor, and then and then put the neighbor is one forty one. That one forty one. That one that one. Because that is the Verizon, right? Space. And then you want to put advertise. You put a question mark. Just put A D V. See okay, advertise route. The first one. No, you have to show IP BGP neighbor. Same, you have to put IP. No, you have to put IP address. Like, yes, and then you follow with the advertise. Just put the tab key. Hit enter. Okay. See, this command is telling this Minnesota router what network being advertised to the neighbor MPLS. So now you're sending the 1098.129.0.25. And also that is the 1098.129.128, right? Now go 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 to the go to the US router. And now go on the right hand side, go go to LA router. Now you in here you show IP BGP. Hit enter. You see? Okay, so that's why you re see this. See, see from the Minnesota, this two prefix, this, this two prefix network you advertise to the MPLS and propagate to the LA router. You got it? Okay. Hello? Yeah. Did you, lo did you lost? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, no, no, I just want to, okay, I, I slow down in here. So when you use this command, show IPBGP enable advertise route. So you want to know this router, you because you advertise these two network to here, right? Yeah. Now, now just, just say in here, for example, again, when you show run here, uh, give me the, give me the, Give me the remote again. Oh. 
Show. Oh my God, it's so delayed. <laughs> Uh, here okay see so show run section just say bgp you see here you advertise this to network right mm -hmm. and then when you go when you go to LA here, see this the this this the network you see, this ten dot ninety eight dot sixty five and talk to one twenty nine is coming in right. Yeah. See here, this two 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 two. You got it. Yeah. Now why why we have a twenty second here? You see. Because this is 192, right? Yeah. Okay. So just for example here, see, because you only when you sh when you go back to here, see, when you show when you show IP in the pay brief, right? Mm -hmm. Now in here. You see, I should be able to ping this this IP address here. So now it's crossing the MPLS. Look at that. Because this network is on my table. From from the from the from the US from the LA router. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, for example, and then this one here. So now you want to ping this one. You, you here? You see here? So if you ping this one here, if you if you want to ping this this interface, you see. Right. Yep. Then, then how about this one? The third one. No, because we didn't do it. So if if we ping this one, and we got timeout, right? Yep. Now let me ask you like this: Just pretend in during the production, if I'm the if I'm the users from LA, now I make an open ticket. So you're the network engineer, so the ticket come to you and then and then say, great, I from LA I cannot ping this Minnesota, the VLAN 30 network. Now in here, how you how you do troubleshooting? You would uh you would do that show IP BGP and then maybe the advertised routes. Okay. So for example, so the, the, the ticket is come to you, right? And then, and then, and then, and then either one, say for example, if you log in, if you log into the LA uh, router here, right? From the LA router. So what, first thing, what you should be look at it. Okay. So first thing when you're troubleshooting is normal, right? Or, because normally when you're troubleshooting, I want to know this this LA router, do I, do, I, do I have a route go to that Minnesota, the VLAN 30, right? We call this as VLAN 30, right? Yeah. Okay, so, okay. So when you're troubleshooting here, so when you show IP route, Okay, so, so, some, so just just in case, nothing to do about BGP, nothing to do. You just want to show IP route first. Make sure I have the route table, right? Is, is this network in my route table, right? Mm -hmm. So you go to 98, so 129 and 193, right? Like this. Then you hit enter. Oh, you see, subnet not in the table. That is the first you're troubleshooting, right? Yeah. Okay, so now, now oh, okay, I understand. So nothing round on my table. And then 
and then then we know already we are using the BGP so we show IP BGP then we hit enter okay so we're looking for this network right So what is this? What is this network? Because sometimes it's very confusing. Because see, we have 129. See, we have 129. You, you, okay. Because because see, for example, if you're using the show IP BGP first, and then maybe if you not go back to IP calculator, it give you confusing. You see. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in, in this case, because we already verified from the show IP route, because it's, it, the router is telling us we are not in the table. So we go back to the Minnesota here, say, okay, let me find out what is this uh, VLAN 30, the, act, the, the actually that ne the, the network for this segment, right? So we go to F0 slash one 30. Oh, come on, this is the key, the key for this. Okay, so, okay, so, oh, this is 93 network, see 192. So this is 128, 26. So maybe that is not for in this network, right? Because this is another network, right? Mm -hmm. You see, this is 193. Now, if you forgot about this, right? Go back to your, go back to your splash sheet here. Go back to splash sheet. You're open up. Yeah. So okay. So this 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 here, and we go back to the what? That is the mini shoulder. Do we have the mini shoulder? This one. Yeah. See the so the network's in one ninety four. You see. Yeah. Okay. So we know that. So otherwise, you either go back to here. Or you either go back to the IP calculator, right? So in in this case, so you want to be config T. So you want to be around. Before I go to the first thing, we need another. Before we go to the BGP configuration, because we need to know like uh, this one, say how many network. Show one section BGP. So in this case, look at that. We're not using the summary route yet. We're not using the summary route yet. So I assuming we have a two network. So now now we have one, two, three. So I should be have another one here for network, right? So I should be I should be have a three network statement. Right. Mm -hmm. So that is mean because we not we not advertise summary around first to cover. Okay. So now in we go back to config T. We go to be a router BGP sixty five zero zero one. Oh come on. To, so to very delayed, and then network, and then we put the ten ninety eight dot one twenty nine dot one ninety four mesh. Right, go back to here. This is your mesh here. So we go back to the mini mic this one again. So here, so we should be put oh incorrect, you see, incorrect. That's isn't it one ninety three? Oh one ninety three. We'll scroll up a little bit. Oh let me see. Yeah, this is 193. But why we have a 129 and 193 in here? See, when you go back to here, let's, let's double check here. 
So this is the, so we have a 129 start one, correct. And then we have a 130 network. So do we, do we miscalculate in here? <laughs> well, that might be another router, though, right? Huh? That could be another router. C correct. So that is an, uh, could be another router, right? Yeah. Okay. So normally, because because normally, see, this is one ninety three, right? So one ninety three, it should be should be for what for what network? Because it cannot be one ninety four or one ninety four, because this one ninety four is the network, right? Oh, no, no, this is the VLAN IP, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the VLAN IP. This is the, I for this, the network IP. No, no I mean the, the network ID. So this is the, this is the, this is the host. This is the host, right? Yeah. So, so we should be, let, let's go back to here. So we should be here. Oh, you see here? See when we when we do the subnet here, one ninety eight zero, and then we go to no we got this is the first network one twenty eight, so we reserve it and then we use one twenty nine split here and split half half. Now we should be or oh, that it should be one ninety two, okay. So this this one should be belong to one one ninety two sub. The, ne the network ID is 192. You got it? Yeah. Okay, so now we go back to here again. So we have to be careful. We have to be make sure we pick the correct. So this one is here is 192. Okay, now this time is ticket. Now when we go back to here, so we have, now do we have it? Yep, so we have 192, see? It's coming in, right? Mm -hmm. Now in here, now we show IP interface brief again. So now, it should be allow us to ping. Before it's timeout, right? Now, now, now this time, can we ping this one? Beautiful. Look at that. Okay. Okay. So now, give, give you back. You the command line. Show. Let's let's begin down here. Uh, let's this one here. Oh, the internet is too slow. Okay, I give you back. So I give you back the keyboard and mouse. So now, uh, now this time for you to configure the New Jersey, right? Okay. Yeah, move it. Okay. Okay. So the New Jersey in here, same thing now. You show IP in the paper first. Okay. And then you want then we just we just focus to interface. So we want to advertise the VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 in here, right? So make sure we, we, grab, we grab that one, show one. We want to exactly to find out what is the network setup mass, what network, show run interface. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is the split one, Slash twenty five network, and this one uh, from uh, 
slash 26 network. Okay, but then but then we need to find out one three this this the uh, the within twenty. What is the first network ID? So that is should be one twenty eight, right? Or or okay. let me let me cheat a little bit in here. IP calculator. <laughs> or you can go back to your spreadsheet again. Uh, what is the network for New Jersey? No, you have to go back to New Jersey. But it should be that there should be east east. No. And there's more over here. Hmm. No, it should be New Jersey, right? Oh, we didn't. No, oh, we didn't do it last time. We had to have done it. Uh, hmm. Okay, let, let, let's do like this. Minimize here, because like uh, we know, we know, we know the the users the users VLAN using slash twenty four. Go, go back go, go back to the, go back to the New Jersey router here just just do like this we focus in 1450 because I know 1450 last time we using the uh, slash 24 right go ahead show run show run that be then 40 yeah yeah this is make it more easy. Ah, uh, yeah, we, we use this one is, yeah, you see, okay. So now, now we go, go to the router. Go to, go to config T. Okay, so say, say, say we, we have a turn up, say for example, we have a SDN migration. We have a turn up the circuit. Now you, now you, at the, you, you, you're in the new router. You want to advertise this New Jersey network to the rest of the network. Oh, backbone crossing the MPLS, right? Right. So now you how you to do it now. Okay, so first thing you already turn up you already turn up the the BGP section. So now in here, you just exit out in here for, for example for quick. If you just exit out. Yes, yeah, that should just want to review what is the current configuration, uh, BGP configuration in here. So you can show run and then section uh, BGP. So you just want to find out the configuration. Okay, so now in here, so this is very fresh. We just, we just only have the neighbor, establish the neighbor peer BGP section, but we don't have the, but, since we are not ready yet at that time when we turn up the circuit, because we we not advertise our network network yet for New Jersey network, right? So now, for example, in here we are ready now. We want we want to advertise that the sub interface that VLAN forty and sub interface VLAN fifty into the BGP, right? So now in this case, so you so now in your mind, so I want to advertise these two network via BGP, right? So in, in, in here, you, you're already straightforward in here, just put config T. And then router BGP 65002, because you want to get inside the BGP process table here. Okay, now you want to use the network command. So you put network. And then, and then what is the network for that 40? It's a 10.98.2.0. And then 
space and then you will you want to put the mass and then that is a two foot by hit enter okay so now now before you do the next one so now for example if you go back to the minnesota on your left here mm -hmm. you just 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 curiosity in here you show ip bgp Okay, so just mix, just verify this Minnesota is received the network for NJ, right? Do it you looks see? like it's in there. You see it? Yeah. Yeah, the first one, right? Ten dot ninety eight dot two dot zero, right? Yeah. Okay, so that is that is mean that command you just enter is working, so you advertise, right? yeah okay now go back to go back to the new jersey again now you advertise dark 50 the network all right so same thing you put the network here and then you put the yep Okay, and then if you go back to the Minnesota. Right? So you, now you reset the three network, right? Yeah. Now, can you ping now? Go ahead, ping. Now you ping from New Jersey, uh, no, Minnesota, because you want to test the ping the New Jersey. Okay, so you ping. The night ten dot ninety eight dot two dot three. Aha. Uh -huh. So why why is got timeout? Right. And then how about three dot three dot three? You see, that time up again, right? Mm -hmm. So, so normally, since you're in the H router here, the New Jersey, right? Sometimes you want to know when when you ping like this, you don't know because because we have so many sub interface in here, right? Go ahead, show IP interface brief here. See, sometimes you don't know which one to, to send it out, right? It could be from the F0 slash zero, you know what I mean? Yeah. Now, for example, if you if you go back to the New Jersey here, yeah. exit out here, exit out again, show IP BGP, Okay, do you see the the 10 network for, for the VLAN 10 for Minnesota? 10.98.129. So we have we have the 129, right? Zero slash 25, right? Let's see. Yeah. This one right here. Correct. Right? Yeah. Okay. So now go back to the Minnesota now. Can you ping ping again? Say nine ten dot ninety eight. Duck three. Duck three. And then don't hit enter first, duck three. Okay. And then put space. Yeah. No, it's still timeout. 
I want you want I want you to use the source. The source is from that 10.98, 129, 129. Is that is mean from the VLAN 20 sub interface IP address. So this one? Yeah. Because you want to use this source interface to ping. Right? Yeah. Hit enter. You see, it's reachable. The reason why, because this network is on the table in the New Jersey, right? Yeah. Then why? So, for example, if from if you just ping the one, uh, if you ping again without the source IP, you got timeout, right? Yeah. So that may be assuming maybe you're using the one forty one one forty one duck one duck two, right? We put the up arrow key again, and then and then uh, remove this. Uh, try using using the source with one forty one 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 forty one duck two. Okay, hit enter. You got timeout, right? So that's the that is the issue, right? Mm -hmm. Now, how you fix it now? Because you see, when you when you using the source, the sub interface one dot twenty is reachable, but but you cannot use this source one forty one 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 forty one dot two. So do you know what is the reason? Hmm. You have to no. you have you have to think about the return traffic, right? Yeah. And then go back to the New Jersey now. So if the New Jersey, say for example, the New Jersey here. So from the New Jersey, go to go go ahead. You type ping because you you use the source is from one one forty one one forty one dot two. So I want to make sure I can from the New Jersey. I should be able to. I need to verify I can ping the one forty one one forty dot two or not, right? Yep. Okay, go ahead, ping. Uh, which one do I want to ping? This? Yeah, one forty one one forty one one two. Because because remember we're using this source IP with ping fail, right? Yeah. Because we then that's why okay. So now you go you hop into the New Jersey router in here. I want to use this. So uh, I want to ping this IP first. Make sure I'm okay or not. So you hit enter here. You see, you got timeout, right? Yeah. That that how you troubleshooting about this. Why, so we why, got, why, we, why got adver we got to advertise those. Okay, so first yeah. thing, so first thing, what command you should use in here, the same thing you want to use show IP row, right? Yeah. So go ahead, show IP row. Row. Right, and then just a 10, 141, 141, duck, 1, duck, 2. See, subnet is not in the table, right? Yeah. Okay. And then the second word of file, you want to show IP BGP because I know I'm using BGP. How about in my BGP table? Do I, do, do I receive this network from my uh, BGP table? Do you, do you see it? No. No, right? And then that's why you're not, you, you call back the Minnesota and say, hey, I don't, I don't see this network. Do you, have you sent it out? Have you advertised this network? into the BGP, right? Yep. Then how you check on the Minnesota? Let's see. You see? Yeah. Do you see it? You should be you sh you should be look look for one forty one one forty one. The next hop should be the same thing like zero dot zero dot zero, right? You got it. 
if, if you still not get it from this, uh, I, because sometimes you, you're confusing you. Oh my God, why I have so many 141? So it com, it's very well, confusing. That's, that's, that's where I'm getting confused. The numbers are confusing me. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what numbers. Exactly. So that, it's, that, it's like, I need, I need to have a table on to look at because the numbers, I understand like the concept. Right, right, right. So, but so the numbers are just driving, I, I, I'm completely confused because of the numbers. Right. Are, that's, that's why I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to help you here. If you're confused with this number, right? Remember, when you're using the network statement, you should be look at the zero, 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 right? This is, there is, there is the, there is the, when you see everything zero, dark, zero, that is the, that is like this rather advertise this network, right? So I should be C141, 141. Say so for, for, for here, here, when, when you show IP again, interface brief, okay? I should see this. I should this. I should see this. This network inside my BGP with zero duck zero duck zero, right? But right now I don't see it, right? Agree? Right. So so it, because sometimes when you when you fresh come into your network, you don't know you don't you don't know all the network IP address, right? So it, it's confusing you, but that is fine. So that's why how you troubleshooting without knowing the IP. That's why you you using the BGP knowledge to identify because I know what from the BGP knowledge is everything from this router is cell we call each cell every time it should be zero 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 the next up right but but in this three out but in this three output in here see I don't see I don't see my I'm speaking for a, a Minnesota router I don't see my facing MPLS interface network being advertised to the BGP, right? Right. Okay, so 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 now the second the, the, so for me the second verify is and then I will show run B, uh, section again. I want to make sure that I have that network command. Okay, I want I want to check the what is the BGP configuration. Uh, come on, show run section BGP. Okay, you see, I do you see 141 network? I don't see it, right? Make sense? Yeah, you see, I don't see, I, I don't see this, this, this network, I don't see this advertise this network. That's why I don't see the output in here, right? And also another verify for you is you show IP BGP neighbor and then 141, my neighbor dot one dot one, this is my neighbor. So this is my neighbor. So I want to put, put this one here. So be so this command. What is telling you is I want to say hey hey. I want to knock 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 knock, knock to my MPLS neighbor Verizon router. Say hey, uh, I I I advertise what I what advertise to you. So this is the command. So when I hit enter, see. Said, oh, okay. I only three network advertise to my neighbor. That's why I don't see the 141. I don't see this network facing this network been advertised. You see? Mm -hmm. that, you follow? Yeah. Okay. So that is that is how you troubleshooting about BG, include the BGP troubleshooting. Okay, so now if we refresh again, so let, let's let's refresh again. So let, let's erase, let's erase this one here. Let's erase here. So, okay, so I know you get some idea. So I know you have some idea. Okay, so first thing in here. So okay, we know already BGP, right? Now suddenly, say we we show in here. Show again, IP interface brief. Okay. And then 
from from this router here say for example from the new jersey router say i want to ping this ip here this ip here okay this is the facing the ip to the mpls right so i want to ping this 141.141.1.2 so that is the ip here okay so when i want to ping this one from the new jersey router I got timeout. Okay, see, I got timeout. So the second you're troubleshooting when you got timeout like this from the New Jersey router, so the next, it, you should be show IP route 141.141.141. Dark two. I just want to see is is inside my global routing table. When I use this command, so it's nothing on my table, in my routing table for, on the New Jersey router. That's that's the reason I got timeout, right? Because mm -hmm. this router doesn't know how to get this network. Okay, and then. I know this is, uh, we've been sharing the remote office, sharing using the BGP. So I'm going to say show IP BGP. Just to, just a second verify. Do I see this network inside my BGP table? Okay, so I don't see the 141. So this 141 is from the other net, is because we are we are looking for 1.2. But, but, this, the third attack, that, that one, but this is dark 10. So this is not, I'm looking for, I'm looking for this network, but I don't see on my table. So first I ping fail. Second, when I show IP route, it's not on my table. And then the third, I, when I look at the show IP BGP, I don't see this network. So now the problem is, it's not in the New Jersey router. All right. Okay. So who, then, then the New Jersey router say, "Hey, who's 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 going to be supposed to advertise this this network?" And then the Minnesota say, "Oh, it's me. I supposed to advertise the network to the remote office." Okay. So you have a problem. You cannot reach my this network interface. And then the New Jersey router say, "Yes, I cannot ping you." So do you send this network to into the BGP? And then the Minnesota router say, okay, let me check. So I'm gonna I'm gonna check first. So it, normally I, I want to make sure many way to do. So this is for example another another like uh, step. So first step in here, I show IBGP summary. So I verify, yeah, I have a BGP is up. So I have a I have no problem, okay. And then I want to show IP interface brief, okay. I want to make sure I have this interface is up up is facing the horizon. Of course, the BGP section is pair is up. I assuming this connect this direct connect is up to okay so there's no problem okay so now i want to find out do i advertise this network to the to the to the verizon neighbor mpls right so do i need to do i advertise this network into here and then go to the minnesota right so before you look at the run uh, bgp configuration running configuration, you can just do quick in here, show IP, BGP, neighbor, advertise route, right? So advertise route here. Oh, you have to put the IP first. Neighbor IP address. So the IP address is 141. My neighbor is uh, Verizon, 141.1.1. Uh, Okay, so I want to be advertised route. 
Okay. Oh, see, I don't see I don't see 141. I don't see here. So okay, now I know what is the problem. So I never I never advertise this network. So how can I verify? So you show run section BGP hit enter. Okay. Oh see. Yep. I don't see the network statement for this network. For this network. I don't see this network. Okay. So now how, how I resolve this problem? It's easy. Put a config key. Router. BGP. 65001. And then I want to be advertised network. And then uh, 141. 141. 1.0. And then put the mask here. 255, 255, 255, zero. Okay, so what, once I put the network command without calling the new, uh, okay, before I calling back, I just want to work out first, make sure I'm advertised, make sure, see, I put that network command, it's still not, it's not 100% that I advertise this network. So what is the command to prove it? You bring it back to command here, show IP, show IP BGP neighbor, advertise route. So you bring this command again. So in, so now this time, when you hit enter, look at that. Okay, so this network now is being advertised from Minnesota router. And also when you show IP in here, BGP, you see? And now I should be have another, see, before I only have a three. Mm. Now I have a four, you see? Okay, so now at this time, when I, when I come to here, ping 141.141.1, okay, so dot two. Now I should be able to ping. Ah, I still able to, not able to ping. Okay, so now now when you go to config key here again, show IP in the pre brief. Okay, so I try I already advertise. Okay, and here, say now I still I I. We call them say New Jersey say hey we already advertise you should be able to ping. But then this guy say, no, I still not able to ping. Okay, so now let me let me verify again. When I show I show IP BGP, make sure I receive the route. Yeah, I receive it, you see? Mm -hmm. Okay, but why I still not able to ping? Okay, 141, dot 141.1.1. Uh, no, duck two, right? This should be duck two, right? You see? Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. You see? Why is she not able to paint? Okay. But now, every time when you're on the router, you have to remember, every time you're in, in the router, right? When you when you ping like this, because if you're not, if you're not, Specify what source IP in here. See, show IP interface brief. Oh, come on. Here, show IP interface brief. See, in this case, sometimes it's always using the zero zero interface, this one. Okay, so that might be the reason not allow you to ping. You see, if you use this one, source 141.141.0.2. You see, it's not allow me to ping. Mm -hmm. But what, but how about if I using 2.3? Right, so let, let, let me check in here. Then you call back to the Minnesota, say, hey, I want to make sure on your table, do you have my 10.98.2.3? Uh, 
oh yeah i have this this the whole slash 24 yeah go ahead use that interface okay now when you go back to here when i use that interface okay so when i use the source interface oh come on when i use the source interface 10 dot 98 dot 2 dot 3 is reachable you see it's working but why i cannot use my verizon interface because you didn't advertise it uh yep hold on so 141 that one that two i want to ping from this guy Right, it's it's fail, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now now uh, I'm I'm bad to you now, so I go to like this again. I go you I go to this again. Okay, so I pretend now I'm the desktop. I, I'm the desktop guy. I I report to you again. Say hey, great. Yeah, please help me. I cannot ping. Okay, go ahead. Now, how are you troubleshooting? Okay. Okay. So, what you're looking for in here? You have to tell me what purpose you show IPBGP here. What you're looking for? Or is this what I want? Okay, so I need to advertise this, and then. No, wait, 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 wait. Before you want to advertise this one, you have to go back to Minnesota first, right? Um, yeah, so show, show route, show IP route, show IP route. Yeah. So that is the first thing you want to show IP route. Okay. That, that, that IP 141. Okay. So I want to see this. Exactly. Because, because you try to ping the source from this guy. Okay. Then you hit enter. Ha 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 ha! It's telling you not subnet not in the table, right? Right. Then the second, what you should no. Then second, what should you check on the Minnesota before you go back to New Jersey? So right now you're still in the Minnesota in here. So you 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 already show IP route is not in the table, right? Right. So now you know you know we're using the bgp right but do you want to check on the bgp first make sure the bgp table do we receive that network okay do we yeah. receive it no no we, we should be looking for the third rtx zero right yeah okay so that is the reason now now you have to explain to me say hey ray because the Minnesota, I, I do not receive the New Jersey that facing Verizon interface network, right? And then can you go back to the New Jersey? You need to verify, have you advertised that into the BGP, right? Yeah. Now, before you want to verify, before you want to look at on the running config, like BGP running configuration, go back to the New Jersey router, right? Okay, so now you know the problem in the New Jersey router, right? Yeah. Now before you before you before you want to verify because 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 New Jersey because say the Minnesota say hey prove it to me have you advertised? He just he he want to see the command do you that to prove it to to Minnesota and then what command you need to prove it is show IP BGP no show IP BGP hmm. neighbor. 
with the neighbor. So IPCP neighbor, and then the neighbor, the Verizon, so be 141. Dot 141. Because this one is a zero, so be zero dot one, right? Space, no space, oh. advertise. Yeah, so hit enter. Yeah, see? So from, from this command, it's telling you the New Jersey router, I only advertise these two networks, right? Yeah, that is that is how the command. See, this is the thing when you're troubleshooting. When you're troubleshooting, that is the command. When people they're asking you, have you ever how you prove it? No, that's that is the command. Okay. Okay. So now, okay. So now you know. You, so I. Sometimes it could be by the. Sometimes it could be by the round map. It's killing you. Okay. Next next one, I show you the round map. Okay. Okay. So in in here, go 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 ahead in here. Show IP BGP. Okay. So I don't see that network in here. Then you show run section. BGP. Yep. Hit enter. Okay, so now now what should you sh what sh you should do? Uh, let's see. Because you want to advertise, right? Yeah. So how you yeah. advertise that network? Come on, come on, quick! No, no. no work. No, not not, <laughs> not you have to go to config T first, right? Uh, uh, yeah, config T, so then you have to put a router. Router uh, let's see. BGP. BGP. Sixty five zero zero two. See. It enters. And then you have to then what? What command? Network. network yeah network <laughs> because you want to use the network network is advertised in the bgp so you want to put 141 141 dot 0 dot 0 then mesh Okay, exit out here. Okay, now using the show IP advertise network, show IP neighbor, show IP BGP, I'm sorry. Show show IP BGP first, show IP BGP neighbor. And then, no, neighbor. Show IP BGP neighbor and then 141. Dot one forty one dot zero dot one, and then put the advertise route. Don't hit enter. Okay, so now see now, now you now you advertise one forty one, right? Yep, it should work now. Now now go back to Minnesota first. Just to, just double check. Minnesota is received the route. Show IP BGP, right? Uh, there it is. Yep. Okay. And then now you go ahead ping again from New Jersey. Ping one forty one dot one forty one dot zero dot two. Beautiful. All right. <laughs> Got it? Got it.
Okay, so that is how you set up the, so this, this, this tonight, so I'll demo for you, how do we set up the BGP and then a couple of troubleshooting in here. And then we will we, we'll be cover more in the next lab, include the route map. Uh, we play more route map policy and also we play for summary route, okay? Okay, should I save all this or write it? Yeah, yeah, save it first. What if I want to redo this so I can get more practice? How would I do that? No, if you want to redo it, remember we, we, we just only advertise to, to network, you know what I mean? Yeah. Then you, you need to advertise the whole network. Okay, here. so there's, there's a whole bunch I could still do. Yeah, so okay. That, that is the purpose here. So for example, show IP in the play brief. So it's not gonna work. Show IP in the play brief. Okay, so I'll just go see what's not being advertised, and then I'll start doing it. Exactly, and then and then you then say ping say ping. You can ask yourself, ping each other, troubleshooting each other. Okay. Yeah, all right. So I gotta save all this. Yeah, that is the purpose. We I I only demo to 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 network, and then you 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 need to that is your homework. You advertise the whole network. Okay. You need right. to make sure you need to make sure you can you can here. yep you have to make sure you can reach because you you have to treat this as a real remote office you have to make sure each router they can ping all the network on your sub interface okay yeah okay okay so so far so good yeah okay all right, so we stop in here. So I, when I stop recording, and then uh, I will help you to upload to YouTube. So then you can, you can review what you have for tonight, to, to for you for you to refresh. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. okay. Ho right. Hopefully, hopefully you learned something tonight. Yeah, I, I need to go through it again. Yeah. All okay. Right. Good well, night. thank you, Ray. Good no night. problem. Yep. Good night.